代わり一人で変なこと始めないでよ変なことバカ知らない<laughs> Yo, I love the little back and forths, man. It's 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 cute and funny, man. Today, we're going to be checking out one of my old reactions that has been exclusively on Patreon like so many other series. But this one is Bunny Girl Senpai. You'll notice a few things, okay? Obviously, I have hair. The reaction probably feels a little older. I'm probably really reacting differently because I personally believe that reactions are something that kind of change over time. The way that I react to things as I become more comfortable as a reactor has changed. So you might notice it's maybe a little bit different. Now, if you enjoy the video, click the like button, maybe subscribe to the channel for even more, and you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon, the movies over on Patreon. Uh, I will admit that the second movie, eh, I, I watched it on a different website with maybe less than great subtitles, and it kind of ruined the experience for me. Thankfully, I didn't watch the third movie via uh, that same website because that would have ruined that, and I didn't want that ruined. Now, this is a series I don't really know much about. I know that it's supposed to be like a, a, a rom-com, and everybody really voted this thing highly when it comes to the Patreon. That's how I choose what the next series will be. Basically, I say, hey, I want a rom-com, so give me some recommendations. Then everybody gives a bunch of recommendations, whichever gets uh, the most recommended or the most liked when it comes to those recommendations. I choose like the five most liked or or mentioned and then i take those put them into a poll that poll is is then voted on by everyone in patreon from the fresher tier up and then i take the top two and i have just the freshest patrons vote on that and then whichever wins is the winner so it, it is a process but it helps me to know what everyone wants when it comes to these uh reactions so if you ever wanted to be a part of those you can always join the patreon and um Again, this is a series I don't really know much about. Uh, I just know that Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's just go check it out. Whoa. Is in your dreams. What a rascal. <laughs> What the fuck? That's kind of interesting. Like, off rip, that's kind of interesting. So this guy has dreams and then writes his dream. Like, he talks to himself from the dream world? Puberty syndrome, abnormal experiences during adolescence due to sensitivity and instability. Okay, so that's it's not the name of the title. I thought this was the title for a second. I was gonna be like, that's a weird title, bro. Unless it is a title, that'd be weird. Uh, she looked like that one girl, that girl, right? Am I tripping? See, this is why I shouldn't be watching OP. It's foiling already. It's going to be that girl. That's his love interest. But there's a lot of girls in this, and they're all going to get rejected, except for that one. That's the one he's going to end up with. I think it's interesting that he sort of wrote a note to himself, right? Or am I tripping? Is he the only one that can see her? She's a spirit? Nobody else can see her. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is that his little sister? Yeah, I'm saying, bro, it, listen, once you hit the age of, like, five, you shouldn't need to be sleeping with anybody else, man. Get a nightlight if you need it. Like, that's it. Five actually might be too late. I don't know, man. I don't know. Damn, this shit is packed. And they actually went in and, and like made all these people walk in here. A lot of them are CG, but still like damn, bro. Oh. Oh, she needs a friend. 
Oh, he got a little girlfriend. Oh, damn. Okay, damn. Relax, girl. Chill. He just wants a friend. He ain't trying to fuck your man. And people are scared to approach her because she's so popular, right? That's how you rebel and say, fuck you. Right? No? Is it me? Alright. It's her. Or not. Fuck you. That's his homie. Shut up, bitch. That's his friend. He can make his own damn decisions. Whoa, that was rude to say. Honestly, I don't care. She was being a bitch to him, so it's fine for him to say that. If she's like, don't hang out with my boyfriend because you're unpopular. Like, bro. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You deserve to have somebody talking to you that way. Push her onto the tracks. He looked like he always about to fall asleep. Damn. You already making a friend. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, well now I'm really confused. Now I am really, really confused. Is he having this conversation with her? Bro, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. She's able to go into his dreams? I feel like there's an episode I'm missing. You don't give a fuck? Oh, he don't even have got a smartphone. What the fuck? Yeah, for real. He's just saying fuck it. This is interesting. Adolescence syndrome? Okay, but that's that right there, right? Hold on, bro. What was that thing? It was um abnormal experiences during adolescence due to sensitivity and instability. What? Is she even real, bro? I don't know, man. I don't think that this moment is actually happening, right? Oh, he had his own adolescent syndrome. What the fuck? A monster tore at his chest. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, stop trolling yeah stop trolling dude <laughs> oh what the fuck whoa what the fuck <laughs> Are you is she making you buy a vase? Uh, understandably so. Oh, that's not good. That's so weird. This is such a weird concept. Hmm? Mm. Observant? Announcer, what does that mean? Is she like a reporter? Is that what that means? Announcer? Schrodinger's? <laughs> 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 Schrodinger's cat, yeah. Now that she's not in show business, she doesn't exist. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. That's kind of interesting, dude. Eventually, she might come to a point where she doesn't exist anymore. Oh, shit. That's kind of weird, right? Oh. 
Nobody else can see her? Oh, she's slowly disappearing. She better transfer some money to this man. There's a blurred out thing there that I'm finding very interesting. Alright, I don't need a thing into the next one. Let's just watch the next one. Let's go. That is very interesting, man. This this thing is is weird. They didn't give us all the info to start, man. They're like slowly unraveling it all and making us think of everything here. But he's observing, right? So she does exist because he can see her. And what, he's just going with her places to purchase things? So she touches? Has he now become invisible? Whoa! <laughs> I love this guy. He's so funny, man. He's just like sarcastic and like just... Oh, uh, he's just great, dude. She's rich enough to live alone. Ouch. That's fucked up, dude. That's weird. That's so weird. Dude, what the fuck? What a weirdo. It's the middle school, bro. Damn, he actually out here with the advice, man. An announcer. I think it means a reporter. Oh, and this way she'll stop being invisible. Mmm, interesting. She doesn't want a manager that's gonna like just make her do whatever she doesn't want to do. I think that's what it is. Hey, you're in. Aww. It's a date. That's weird. Oh, that sounds weird. That sounds weird. That's so... Uh, different culture. Different culture. Different culture. It's a different culture. It's a different culture. You bring in an extra pair of underwear? Damn, you just attacked this man violently. <laughs> he said his butt was split in two. I love this guy, dude. I really like this guy. This guy's great. Is he actually going to kick her? Dang, he actually did kick her ass. <laughs> oh, my God. That's stupid. Your friends are not that important, I'll tell you that much. She gone, bro. She said she was only going to wait until that certain time. You're late. An hour and 38 minutes late? She waited that entire time? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, I love the little back and forths, man. It's 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 cute and funny, man. 
And they got money to do that? Oh, it's the girl he likes. She actually pay attention and listen to him. So this is the girl he has like this weird obsession with, right? <gasps> interesting. Oh, even more interesting. What if it was just like some sort of figment of his imagination? What if it has something to do with her? And she is actually from the future that met him. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. Nut up, though. Don't let her control this. You control the conversation. If she put hands on you, you put hands on her back. Oh, shit. She can't see her? Oh, shit. Yo! What the fuck? Yo. Oh, wait, what's happening to her is the same thing that happened to the girl that he likes. The girl might actually be her. Yo, that's so weird. How's she gonna return to show business? She needs to do that article, though. Oh. You wanna hold his hand? <laughs> it is a date, after all. Aww. Wait, can his sister see her? Oh, no. What the fuck is happening? Oh, damn. That's so weird. She's disappearing. <laughs> what? That's interesting. Yo, we're getting closer to finding out what's going on here. Wait, that means she's not wearing underwear right now? <laughs> Bro, that's not that weird, okay? Damn. The, my, I, Sakurajima? I don't remember. Ah. Ah. They're cute. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> A rave review. <laughs> Man, you should have just said yes, bro. You missed out on, on, on an opportunity, bro. Why from behind? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. I love their like exchanges. They're so weird. Mm. Oh no, is he actually gonna forget? <laughs> They're cute.
Dude, I'm really scared he's gonna forget about her. I'm so scared he's gonna forget about her. That's, oh man. All right, so let's talk about this, this series so far. It's very weird. That it has to do with this adolescent syndrome. For his sister, Kaide, was, it, was, it resulted in her like getting tore up by, she basically got physically abused by the verbal abuse she received from bullies. Very weird. Um, but then in the case of Mai, Mai is slowly disappearing in people's minds. But for some reason, people at the school still know who she is. It's very odd. I don't get it. Basically, Mai was this popular child actor, right? And she decides to step away because she doesn't like the fact that her mom's her manager and her mom just doesn't really give a shit. She's like, hey, I want to make money off. Her. That's it. She doesn't care what Mai wants to do. She just cares about how she can make money. And so Mai doesn't like that shit. She takes a hiatus from show business. <sighs> Our boy is starting to convince her to get back into it. I guess that he realizes that she is interested in doing that. And so she's about to do it. She's about to go back into show business. But in order to do that, she's got to find a new manager. She doesn't want her mom as her manager. But to find a new manager, she has to get out of the contract with her current manager, with her mom. But her mom doesn't even remember who she is. So her mom really only cared about her for the money, which is really fun. That's what I'm assuming they're trying to say there. Now, they're going all over the place trying to find people that recognize her, like know who she is. They have this meeting one day for like a, a date. Well, he's calling it a date. She's not really. And he runs into a new girl. So he's met a few people during this whole thing. So far, the people we know are our, our main character. I think his name is, damn, I really don't remember his name. I really don't. Azusagawa. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go with his last name. But he, that's one character his sister Kaide then we've got the science girl we've got his friend his friend's girlfriend um my my's mom and oh and then that girl that he met at the park who he kicked her ass <laughs> it's kind of funny it was weird I, I i so far i like the dialogue here between him and my and, and other characters as well it's a very entertaining series so far and i am looking forward to seeing where this thing goes because it's very interesting to me this whole concept will she completely disappear and is this what happened to the girl that he is like trying to find this girl that he likes that nobody knows of like nobody knows who she is but he's obsessed with this girl because she came to him to talk to him about something like is does she, is she is she my does she have some sort of like relation to my in some sense like i don't get it it's very interesting like is what's happening to my what happened to that girl and now that girl has disappeared i don't know man it's all super weird how does the scar thing work like getting hurt by the comments of people there's a whole lot of stuff to unpackage here and hopefully throughout the rest of the season we learn this information because it has been very interesting to me so far now with all that said i would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below how do you feel about this series just after the first two episodes and the relationship between mai and azu Azu Sagawa. Like, I, I like the way that they interact with one another. Also, how do you feel about Kaide and what she's going through and these other characters that we've met so far? I would just love to hear from you all down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content, since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.